In this session, let's have a look at like terms. Again, this is part of the algebra component. What's a term? Now let's just refresh over something that we looked at in the last film, and that is, what is a term? Expressions and equations are made up of terms. Terms may contain one or more pronumerals, such as 6t or 5axy. So you can see here 6t and the 5axy, these are each individually terms. Terms can also consist of a number only, and they're typically separated by plus or minus signs. Let's have a look at this equation down here. And I know this is an equation because there's an equal sign on it. The expression in this equation is the 4x minus 6. Now, in this equation here, y is a term, 4x is a term, and just to remind you, 4x is the same as 4 times x. In algebra, we don't write the time symbol. 4 times x is written as 4x. And also, the 6 is a term in this case as well. So the y is a term, the 4x is a term, and the 6 is a term. And terms make up expressions and equations. Now, the purpose of today's film is to have a look at what are like terms. Now, terms that contain exactly the same pronumeral, irrespective of order, are called like terms. And like terms are really important because they allow us to simplify equations and expressions. So let's have a bit of a practice. Let's look at these ones over here on the left hand side. Now these are, these are two terms and we're comparing them. Which of the following are like terms? Now 5e e and 6e, they have different coefficients, the 5 and 6 are different, but they have the same pronumeral and it's exactly the same pronumeral. So this is a like term. 8ast and sat. Now they don't have the same coefficient. 8 is the coefficient here and this has got an imaginary 1 in front of it. The pronumerals AST and SAT, well they are exactly the same pronumeral, they're just in a different order. So this is also a like term. 3G squared and 45G squared, is this a like term? I think it is. The 3 and the 45 are different but G squared and G squared are both the same. 5ab and 6a. Again, these ones have got different coefficient. The 5 and 6 are different. This one on the left has got ab. This one on the right has got a only. Now these are not exactly the same pronumerals. The a is the same, but this one has b and this one doesn't. Therefore, this is not a like term. The last example, 2yz and xzy, is the same as this one here. This has got two pronumerals, y and z. This term over here has got y and z, but it's also got an x. These are not exactly the same, therefore it's not a like term. The one last thing to look at when it comes to like terms is the process of adding or subtracting like terms is called simplifying, and it's very, very important. I wanted to have a look at a couple of examples. Let's look at 4g plus 6g. Now, are these like terms? The g is exactly the same, there's no other pronumerals. The coefficient is different, but that doesn't matter. All we're looking for is the pronumeral being the same. 4g plus 6g, is they are like terms, and that can be simplified to 10g. The next example I'd like to look at is 6ad plus 5da. Now, are these like terms? This one's got a and d, this one's got D and A. Remember, it doesn't matter what order they're in, as long as they're the same pronumerals. So the simplified version of this would be 11AD. When simplifying, we tend to write the pronumerals in alphabetical order.